So uh, a very warm welcome to this afternoon's strategy session. My name is James Hughes, and I lead the solutions and propositions team at uh, Sabio. And for those of you who know me pretty well, you'll probably uh, be aware that I get quite excited about innovation. But what people probably often misunderstand about me is, despite my technical background, it's not the tech that excites me, but it's what the, people, what the, what the technology can do for people, particularly customers, your consumers, and especially our service advisors. But I've got to tell you, I'm really worried for our service advisors right now. Because if I, if I walk into a school or into a university and ask a, ask a group of students or graduates what they really want to do with their lives, I think we know the answer that not many people are going to say that they really want to be a service advisor. And working with many organizations, as, as I do in my job at Sabio, People are telling me that they're really finding it hard to attract great staff, great service advisors to their teams. So if that's the case, if it's so difficult to attract service advisors to our industry, then why does it, why does it seem that we almost do everything we possibly can to make our existing service advisors' lives as difficult as possible? In a recent survey, burnout accounted for 40% of all attrition. And another 20% was related to lack of tools, training, care, and support to do the job that they so, uh, so really love. So it's no surprise to see in the UK, agent attrition is over 20, 21%. Some countries across Europe, over 30%. So we, I think we've got a real attrition problem, and it's something that I'm really worried about. But Attrition and attraction are really easy to measure. They're so obvious to see. I actually think we have a bigger problem for our service advisors, and it's something that's much harder to understand, much harder to unpack. So in the contact center, we often, like most organizations, you actually rely on your top talent to get you through the day. And you know the sort of typical advisor, your top talent, they're you know, very passionate about customers. They are willing to do those shifts that other advisors aren't willing to do. They always seem so happy, so bubbly when you talk to them. But as human beings, we are really, really good at hiding stress, burnout, and mental health issues. Because in the workplace especially, we like to project a version of ourselves that we want the world to see. And hey, you know, we don't like to talk about mental health and stress with our friends and family. So, you know, it's, you can understand why people wouldn't want to talk about that with their employers, the fear that that might lead to losing their jobs. So I think we have a real presenteeism problem. And I can make a bet with you right now that there are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of advisors handling customer interactions all over the world right now who are, shell, who are a shell of themselves, completely burned out, unable to cope, and therefore, if their mental health is hurting them, how could they possibly be delivering the kind of customer experiences that they really want to deliver, but we uh, also need them to deliver? So I think we have a presenteeism problem. But it's OK. It's cool, because we've got AI and automation. And AI and automation can help reduce the load on service advisors. It can make their lives easier, Google Assist, Next best action. It's great stuff to help our advisors. But like, like all things, with great power comes great responsibility. I'm not Spider-Man, but that's what Uncle Ben would tell me. Now, if we deploy any technology, but very specifically automation, into the contact center, if we go on that transformation journey, if we don't take our advisors on that journey with us, if they're not part of that journey, then they're going to feel like it's been done to them. And that is demoralizing. It means they feel unempowered. And that's a big problem. So the first thing I want you to know is, yes, people, AI and automation still needs great people on your team. If you want to build meaningful relationships with your customers, you must have great service advisors on your team. So it's really important that we do we, we introduce any technology or any transformation in the right way. So I just want to touch 
on a situation I think that we've seen with some organizations who are going, uh, going on hyper-automation journeys. We're seeing some phenomenons that come out of that. So one of the things is, if we take away the simple and repetitive tasks and handle that with automation, then it's quite easy to see that the interactions that advisors then deal with are of a more complex nature, often more urgent and particularly emotional. And if we don't help advisors manage that transition, then you could see that that mental load that they're now dealing with could start to impact their mental health. So it's a big thing. It's, a, it's something that we're really concerned about. The other thing, the consequence of that is any organization going through automation will start to see a track in their average handling times because the complex queries that those agents are handling take longer to deal with. So it's, 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 a, it's a natural thing. And of course, I, I really didn't want to talk about COVID, but you know, we do have a lot of hybrid remote working right now. And you know, I'm thinking, for, if, I, if I was an advisor handling complex interaction, call after call after call, I'm at home, maybe I live alone, I'm remote working, because th that's the organization strategy right now. I might feel that I'm particularly isolated, and that, that could be quite distressing. So I really want to hit this point home. So I've got a bit of an example for you. So uh, if you don't know this guy, this chap, he's um, C3PO from Star Wars. And if you want a bot in your contact center, this guy, he is the best human cyborg relations bot you could ever want in your business, right? He is the best of the best. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Hello, sir. I am C3PO of Human Cyborg Relations. Cool. Now, he is the best version of himself every minute of every day, 365 days a year, as long as he's programmed right. Yeah? He's the best version of himself every single day. But C3PO, he has some pretty significant limitations. He has limitations when it's complex, when it's emotional, or particularly urgent. So what do we need? We need a real superhero, a human superhero. So we've got Luke, Luke Skywalker. He is by far the best service advisor you've ever seen. His performance statistics are the best in the industry, and his customers absolutely love him. But C3PO was deployed without his input. He was not taken on the journey. He hasn't been retrained to handle more complex customer queries. His shift pattern has not changed since 2015. So he's now taking interaction after interaction without any breaks. The mental load on Luke is now beyond anything you could possibly imagine. He's remotely working from home. He lives alone. He feels pretty isolated. So in that moment, in that crucial moment, when your customer's loyalty to your brand is in the balance, Luke's response is, you are the impossible. And that is why we need to introduce AI and automation in the right way into our contact centers. So before we move on, I just want you to leave you with five things that I think are really important if you are going on any kind of transformation journey, but specifically for AI and automation. So the first thing I really want you to know, and I'm sure this is quite obvious, but you'd be amazed how many organizations don't do this. If you want to know the best thing that you need to do in your business for your customers, then it's like the tires on, the, on a car. The, the advisors are the only thing that is in constant contact with your customers. So if you are planning a transformation, involve them, take them on the journey, let them champion the rollout for you. Really important. The second thing is any automation transformation got to understand what your customers are really t trying to achieve. The best way to do that is to understand it in your customers' words. So at Sabio, we've got some technology called Intent Capture and Analysis. It's, it's intent Capture and Analysis. It's a 12-week program to really understand what customers are trying to achieve in their own words on the voice channel. And then if they're going on the digital journey through your My Customer Portal or via the website, you can track where 
what they were trying to achieve and why they ended up calling into the contact center. So 12 weeks, you can really understand what customers are really trying to achieve. Um, thirdly, it's quite important if you do deploy automation, then shift patterns designed for 2015 aren't going to work in 2022. So you need to think about bonus breaks. You need to think about the mental load of those complex emotional queries that those advisors are dealing with. And you need to retrain them because that demand that they're dealing with is going to change. They need to be of a higher skill set to be able to solve those queries. We can, of course, assist that with next best action, Google Assist, those kinds of things. Absolutely. But fundamentally, they do need that training and support. And then, really, finally, we need to think about the full 360 um, degree well-being of our service advisors. And there are some, some amazing, innovative AI technology out there right now that can start to uh, understand, unpack, predict burnout, stress, and mental health issues for your advisors. Really, really cool stuff. And you know, if you're building up for peak, you can see you know, where you think you might be from a mental health perspective. So that technology is there. We also have uh, some other cool technology. Um, actually, there's, there's some people in the room, a company called With You. They have an app with advisor-targeted uh, well-being, breathing exercises, meditation. It's a low-cost, high-value uh, advisor perk. You were talking about attraction and attrition. Then it's, it's stuff like this that um, essentially moves you from having a tick box exercise. Yeah, we really care about our people. We really care about mental health. And actually taking the responsibility to do something about it. 